Right, first of all, is we need the mode switch on tune. The tune position permits tuning of the final tank circuit at reduced power without danger to the tubes. In the tune position, the screen voltage to the finals is reduced approximately 50% and the key in circuit is closed. So right, so that's on tune. Right? Right, I'm doing all these uh, measurements with a 50 ohm dummy load for this tune up. Okay. Right, so we haven't switched on yet. Right, so we're going to switch on now. There's the switches. Leave the heater for a little bit. Switch on. We don't want to hear anything. Right. This meter switch wants to be on ALC. We've already told you about the tune. That's on there already. This is the send and receive button we will be using quite a lot on the tune up process. So that's on ALC, the, mo the meter switch. Everything else is taken off. There's no that's on fast, everything's off. Switches. Right. The all these buttons are off. RIT. Doesn't make any difference the mic. But I'm leaving that because it's already set for uh, transmissions I've been having recently. But this one is on, it can either be on half way, the carrier control, or three quarters. On this radio, it works halfway, is enough. Okay, you see that? Halfway. Right, so the radio's on. I've got a meter here, look. Set to power. 200 watts forward ok so right we'll put the uh, heaters on now it's on tune heaters on and give them a few minutes to warm up while it's warming up make sure that the load control is turned completely anti-clockwise to the bottom to the left look you see that this is around this plate control around the we're on 80 meters 3.5 megs 3.6 and we're actually on 3.7 look there okay so every time we move frequency we'll need to uh, check our load and plate and the drive control. So that's the drive control. We'll set that halfway, center position, I mean, center position. Okay. And everything through the dummy load. Right, so the heaters is, is warming up. They're on. So now we're going to uh, peak with the drive control the ALC. That's why we're on the ALC. So we'll flick this to send up to receive down. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Right, here we go then. Left hand on this, on the send receive switch. On ALC, the right hand on the drive. Quick flick, okay. You see that? And it's off. Job done there, okay. 
Now we go on the plate control, turn this on to IP, on the plate control we put on 3.5 because we're on 80 meters. Right now we're going to dip the plate. Okay, a flick up there. Right, you see the dip? Gone. That should be our power output there. But because we're at 50%, because we've got the, the load, sorry, the uh, tune control on, then it will only be about 48, 50 watts there. But when we put it on to LSB, or CW it will be twice that power but the, the tubes will have the full power ok right now we want full power we've only got we're going to go on CW now turn that bottom mode switch on to CW we're still on IP ok so now we're on the plate control we're going to do another dip right we're a bit high now you see there dip 200 milliwatts there, you see that milliamps, sorry, milliamps, milliwatts, milliamps, okay, but I want 225, no more than 225, that's what they say, so I'm going to turn the load control, the load control just up a little, and you'll see it rise there, right now another dip, look at that, spot on, 225, do you see that? I didn't have to turn the load control up that much, it says 225. Right, we'll see it again, I'm not going to touch anything with this hand. Right, there's 200, there's 250, there's 300. It's in between the 200 and the, the, the 50. Watch, gone, right. So that's sorted that out, we'll show you the power in a second. Right now we're going to show you the power output on the meter. Right, look at that. It's, what did that say? It said something like 120 watts. That's into the dummy load, so if you haven't got a good match on your antenna, you're going to greatly reduce that. But I have got a good match. Right, there's the power look. That's the power from the radio into the dummy load. So I guess that's it, just practice, and it's all quick and simple, can't beat it can you, but while you're receiving only, you don't need the heater on, or heaters on, right, have to save your uh, valves that way, so always remember to switch those off, and always remember to let them warm up a few minutes before you start tuning the radio up so that's the tuning for the 820 very nice radio see you later